I'm making a video today that I should never, ever, ever have to make. It is so stupid that I'm having to make this video. Garage. I'm Rob. This here's the garage where we maintain, repair, track, and upgrade the likes of BMWs, Corvettes, Ferraris. We got a Range Rover Sport here. Just picked up a new Chevy Silverado. I'm trying to replace the rear wiper blade on the Range Rover Sport. It's an L494 2016 supercharged V8 5.0 liter. And I've, I mean, I've replaced the front wiper blades multiple times over the years. It's got 125,000 miles on it now. But the rear. I have had a hell of a time trying to find the correct wiper blade for the rear. If I'm experiencing this, I can't be the only one in the world that's gone through this challenge. I searched online, cannot find a single video or post or anything about this out there. So I'm gonna share my experience with you guys in hopes that when it's time to replace your rear wiper blade, you've got a little advice on the correct wiper blade to select. Check it out. All right, so with the car off, you can pick up the blade, swing it over this way, and to remove the old one, it's quite simple. There's two tabs on the sides. You squeeze those tabs and it just kind of pulls right out. All right, to reinstall, essentially it's just clipping in here and you know, these tabs hold it in place. So you simply put it up there, pop it in. I mean, how simple, how simple is that? See that? Squeeze, pull. It's that simple. Okay, first I purchased this Anco E15M. 15 is the length of the wiper blade. It is 15 inches and it's universal. You see all these different adapters? Pull out the instructions and according to the Anco website and according to rockauto.com where I purchased this for like six or seven dollars. I mean, Rock Auto has got some great prices. It is supposed to fit. It is a pinch tab. You see how there's all these different types of you know applications hence why there's all these different types of adapters and then this thing just you know pushes into it with those tabs it's very simple it's like the simplest wiper blade in the world you're supposed to use this adapter right here and there you go you're supposed to be able to take that off put this on let's go try it okay so we drove to put it on what do you notice this can't fit in there. Look at that. It says this, this wiper arm is way too skinny for this adapter. Way too skinny. That's some bullshit. That does not fit. I have tried, I've messed with this thing. I messaged Rock Auto and they say, yeah, 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 we can return it. We can return it. You gotta pay for shipping and the shipping is gonna cost more than it costs for the wiper blade. So screw that. I go to O'Reilly's down the street. For forty dollars, we get this Rainax Silicone Advantage 15. It's a, it's the correct length, of course, correct length. And looking up on O'Reilly's webpage, and initially the Rainax webpage. I say initially because we'll tell you the rest of the story in a minute. It said that this is compatible. This is compatible with the right adapter. You know, got the instructions here. You can see. That's the right wiper blade. That's it. I mean, the wiper arm. That's that's it. So let's follow these instructions. Really simple. You should be able to just push this, rotate that, pull that thing out, and then it's supposed to slide in there. Guess what? This is some bullshit. You go put this in right here. You're supposed to slide it right there. And just like the other one, this adapter is too wide. It's not only too wide, it's too tall. That is supposed to fit in there. This is supposed to slide. This is supposed to slide in there and then this cap just goes over and holds it in place. Right, that's how it's supposed to work. That is not how it works. This does not fit. So remember I said initially I looked on the Rainex website and it popped this up as compatible with this vehicle. But then my buddy Mike did a little more research and turns out that it is not compatible. They are incorrect. Their website, elsewhere on their website, it shows that there's a different model, a Rainex that works. So we're gonna go try that next. So finally, what we did is we went on Rainex website 
and discovered that the only thing that is supposedly compatible is this latitude. We find an auto parts store in town that has one in stock. This is the only one in the metropolitan area where I live. And we look at it, and we're like, you know, it does look similar. It's about the same width. Maybe these tabs are a little bit thicker, but the, it's about the same width. So yeah, I think it's gonna work. Now mind you, I would have just taken the Rover uh, to the auto parts store and installed it there in the parking lot and verified, but got some major repairs going on. So it's not really drivable at the moment. So well, let's go take a look now and see how this Rain-X Latitude fits. And it's supposed to just slide right on and these tabs will pop in behind there and cl clip in place. But as you can tell, again, more bullshit. The third wiper arm that at first says compatible is not. It is not compatible. It's the same issue every time. These adapters are way too thick to fit this Rover's tiny, skinny little arm. So here's my advice. Just going to have to buy it from a dealership or find the OEM genuine Land Rover part online. The part number is LR070886, okay? So I'm just going to find that online if I can. If not, I'll have to go to the dealership and pick it up. Don't waste your time like I did trying to find uh, a, a thicker, better uh, wiper blade. Just get the OEM version. Appreciate you all watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on down the road.